Phobia. Uh, what that? Well, a phobia is an excessive and irrational fear reaction. A kind of anxiety disorder in which the individual has a relentless dread of a situation, living creature, place, or thing. So, what causes phobia? Well, genetic and environmental factors can cause phobias. A phobia may be a learned response that a person develops early in life from a parent or sibling. A phobia may be associated with a particular incident or trauma. Distressing episodes can all be sources of phobias. So what are the types of phobias? Specific or simple phobias or complex phobias. Specific or simple phobias center around a particular object, animal or situation. They often develop during childhood or teenage years and may become less severe as you age. Complex phobias tend to be more racket than simple phobias. They usually develop during adulthood and are often correlated with an ingrained fear or anxiety about a particular situation. So what are the symptoms of phobias? Physical symptoms People with phobias often have panic attacks. Panic attacks can be very frightening and distressing. The symptoms often occur suddenly and without warning as well as overwhelming feelings of anxiety, a panic attack can cause physical symptoms. So what are the psychological symptoms? In severe cases, you may also experience psychological symptoms, such as fear of losing control, fear of fainting, feelings of dread, fear of dying. So you might ask, huh, are phobias treatable? Well, almost all phobias can be successfully treated and alleviated. Simple phobias can be treated through progressive exposure to the object, animal, place, or situation that causes fear and anxiety. This is known as desensitization or self exposure therapy. You understand most common phobias in the world. Alright, alright, guys. Listen up, listen up, yeah? Just a warning, before we start the countdown, some of the following images may cause excessive itchiness, alright? So if you're easily grossed out, look away for number 10, alright? Number 10, Trypophobia, the fear of holes. Revulsion or being disgusted is the primary cause of trypophobia. While this fear might seem irrational to normal people, the mere sight or thought of holes can set off panic attack in a tyrophobe. Oh, my scalp is already starting to itch. Alright, alright, number 9. Aerophobia. The fear of flying. Aerophobia is usually associated with other phobias such as agoraphobia or fear of being unable to escape and claustrophobia, fear of small and restricted spaces. This makes air travel nearly impossible for sufferers. Number 8. Mysophobia, the fear of germs. Mysophobia is the extreme fear of germs which is often linked to obsessive compulsive disorder. Many people suffer from both OCD as well as mysophobia. The unhealthy fear of germs can cause a person to also fear contamination of food or things around them. Isolation is also a common symptom of this phobia. Number 7. Claustrophobia The fear of small spaces. Nearly 5 to 7% of the world's population is known to suffer from claustrophobia. This phobia is mainly related to the fear of suffocation or the fear of restriction. Number 6. Astrophobia The fear of thunder and lightning. The majority of sufferers are children, although the phobia can remain in adulthood as well. Even the most ferocious and wild animals have an extreme fear of thunder and lightning, just like my little doggies. Speaking of dogs, Sinophobia, the fear of dogs. <laughs> Sinophobia is one of the most common animal phobias around the world. The extreme fear of dogs 
is actually even more crippling than the fear of spiders and the fear of snakes due to the fact that dogs are commonly present. Number 4. Agoraphobia The fear of open or crowded spaces This is a condition that prevents the sufferer from visiting crowded areas as well as open grounds. An agoraphobic may feel afraid of experiencing a panic attack and these thoughts can lead to a panic attack. Depression is a common symptom of this phobia. Acrophobia, the fear of heights. Acrophobia is a specific phobia that could interfere with the person's ability to climb down. In severe cases of acrophobia, a panic attack might be triggered even when the sufferer is climbing up or down a chair. Number 2. Ophidiophobia, the fear of snakes. Ophidiophobia is the second most common animal phobia, alright, affecting nearly one third of the adult human population. The fear of venomous snakes has evolutionary roots, is also essential for survival. Extreme ophidiophobia can affect one's life as one tends to avoid outdoor activities. And finally, the most common phobia in the world. Arachnophobia, the fear of spiders. It is the most common phobia around the world. The cause of the phobia is evolutionary as well. Alright, alright, now let's look at the strangest phobias. Okay? When I say strange, strange for me. Because strangeness is subjective. Somniphobia, the fear of sleep. The fear of sleep is related to the fear of the unknown. Often, the sufferer is terrified of what might happen if he or she falls asleep. Many are afraid of having nightmares or fear being unable to hear their loved ones call out to them. Ombrophobia Fear of rain Some might fear very heavy rain that accompanies storm-like conditions such as heavy winds, thunder, and lightning. Still, others might be afraid of even a little rain or drizzle. Chronophobia The sufferer obsesses over time. He or she is extremely anxious, so much so that it affects his or her day-to-day -day functioning. The phobia mainly affects prison inmates, elderly people, or individuals who may already be suffering from various anxiety disorders. Numerophobia or Arithmophobia Just the thought of solving a difficult arithmetic equation in school or doing calculations in a day-to-day -day life could cause intense panic attack in the sufferer. Yeah, yeah, so students, yeah, this would be a very good reason to get out of school, right? And for you not to get any allowance from your parents. You know why? Because there are numbers on money. <laughs> Alright, next one. Pogonophobia. The phobia is known to affect thousands of people worldwide. Alright, the next one is quite strange as well. Omphalophobia. People suffering from omphalophobia are terrified of belly buttons their own or in some cases those of others. They do not like touching their navel. Sometimes the mere sight of the belly button is enough to make them feel disgusted or terrified. Chytophobia Many sufferers try to avoid people with thick, dense and curly or afro style hair. So they should avoid me at all costs. Still, others are only afraid of loose, stray hair and avoid places like barber shops or salons. Alright, the next one is really what? Panophobia. Fear of everything. Panophobic tends to suffer from one or more different kinds of phobias. Well, it means that they remain in a constant state of fear, believing there is persistent evil or something terrible about to happen. Okay, now let's look at top 100 phobias in the world. Alright, hold up. If you're thinking, oh no, 
But I don't want to sit through a list of hundred different phobias. I can't be sitting here the whole day. Well, neither can I. So, pause the video if you want to read them all. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like more in the future, please hit the subscribe button and check out my previous videos as well. And I'll see you later, mate!